This video on Myth versus Facts is based on information from the Appraisal Foundation. We will outline the appropriate ways to communicate with the appraiser, who the intended use and intended users of the appraisal are, and some of the other common myths versus facts as it applies to the appraiser, the appraisal process, and how to communicate with the appraiser. In 2008, the Home Valuation Code of Conduct went into effect. In essence, it established a standard that prohibited an appraiser from being adversely or unduly influenced in the development of an appraisal. Shortly after the standard was implemented, I was teaching a course for a state realtor convention where an agent had reported that a property owner came home during the time where the appraiser was at the property. He left the property with a comment that, well, because I've had contact with the property owner, I'm going to have to discontinue doing the appraisal or going to have to find somebody else. We find that there is a significant amount of misunderstanding by both appraisers, agents, borrowers, contractors about the kinds of interactions they can have with each other. This common myth versus uh, fact is designed to address some of those issues. Myth. Real estate brokers are prohibited from communicating with appraisers. The fact is brokers are permitted to communicate with an appraiser and to provide them with additional information as long as the communication is not intended to unduly influence the outcome of the appraisal. The exchange of relevant information, including terms of sale, relevant comps, and home improvements can help the appraiser develop a more credible opinion of value. Myth. Nothing can be done if a broker has concerns or questions regarding a completed appraisal. Fact. If there are questions or concerns with an appraisal, there are concrete steps brokers can take through the lender, like submit additional comps for the appraiser to consider, request the appraiser to correct errors in the appraisal report, and ask the appraiser to provide further details to explain his or her conclusions. Keep in mind that the way this information is com communicated should be through the lender client and not directly with the appraiser. Myth. Appraisers request copies of the purchase agreement from brokers simply so they'll know how much to appraise the property for. Fact. Appraisers are required to review the purchase agreement, if available during the ordinary course of business, to fully understand the terms of the transactions. Appraisers don't simply look at a pending sale price and try to justify the transaction. They perform research and analysis to provide their own opinion of value. The purchase agreement is simply a piece of data that will be considered by the appraiser in developing an opinion of value. Myth. An appraiser is hired by the borrower. Fact. Even though the borrower may be responsible for the cost of the appraisal, appraisers are hired by the lender. Appraisers provide an analysis of the collateral so the lender can understand the value of the property when making a loan decision. If a borrower is using an appraisal as part of a purchase contingency decision, the borrower may want to hire their own appraiser to satisfy that condition as the borrower is not an intended user or the client for a transaction where the lender has hired the appraiser. Myth. The money put into a home translates dollar for dollar into a higher appraisal. Fact. The cost put into a home improvement project may well add value to the home. However, the value of any improvements are based on what the market is willing to pay for them and may not necessarily correlate to the cost. 
not all renovations positively impact property values. Myth. Appraisers set the value of a home. Fact. Appraisers don't set the value of a home, nor do they confirm a home's sales price. Their role is to produce a credible opinion of value which reflects the current market. Myth. Appraisers and home inspectors perform the same function. Fact. Though both provide crucial information, their roles are very different. An appraiser provides an objective, unbiased analysis so the lender can better understand the value of the property. An inspector is typically hired by the borrower and performs an objective visual examination of the physical structure and systems of a house to ensure the structural integrity of the property. Myth. Nothing can be done if a builder has concerns or questions regarding a completed appraisal. Fact. If there are questions or concerns with an appraisal, there are concrete steps builders can take through the lender, like submit additional comps for consideration. Request the appraiser to correct errors in the appraisal report and ask the appraiser to provide further details to explain his or her conclusions. Keep in mind that the builder is not the client, is not an intended user of the appraisal. Therefore, any additional clarification, reconsiderations of value must be done through the client who is the intended user of the appraisal. Myth. Appraisers only rely on comparable sales and do not take into account the cost to build a home. Fact. Appraisers do need to consider the cost to build a home and at times must perform a cost approach to deliver a credible appraisal. However, because cost does not always equal value, appraisers cannot simply look at what it costs to build a home to provide the opinion of value. They must perform research and analysis to determine what the marketplace is willing to pay. Many lenders require an interior inspection of the property by the appraiser. With the 2020 COVID-19 pandemic, there have been some altered scopes of work, but many lenders still require an interior inspection. A frequently asked question, as provided by the Appraisal Foundation, addresses this issue as follows. Question. If an appraiser makes a personal inspection of the exterior of a property as part of a mortgage finance transaction or in any other assignment and then receives interior photos, video or other technology based views of the subject, can the appraiser state that they performed an interior inspection? The response, no. A personal inspection of the interior of the property by the appraiser is not the same as viewing the interior virtually or remotely. It would be misleading for an appraiser to indicate that an interior inspection of the property was performed when in fact the appraiser only viewed interior photos, video, or other data from technological solutions. The information for this video was developed by the Appraisal Foundation with a little bit of commentary by me, Craig Morley. More information on who is a credentialed appraiser in your state, as well as other information about appraisers and the appraisal process can be found at the Appraisal Foundation's website listed below.